Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. Last time we talked about the ISO-OC layer reference model. Today we want to start with the first layer. What is the first layer? I briefly talked about this. Well, today we're going to look a little bit deeper. First layer is called physical layer. In the physical layer, uh, you know, it's, it's the layer physics. So it's, it's everything you can touch or not touch if it's a radio communication, but there are also things like antennas and so on. So it's about connection. Yeah. So the physical layer only knows, knows point to point connection. Yeah. So we have only point to point connection. And we want to transfer a bit. This is also a bit transfer layer if you want. Yeah? Goal. Transfer one bit of information. At least one bit. Or more. Yeah? And those connections. Yeah, those point-to-point -point connections can be established and released. So, and everything which is necessary for that is layer one. Yeah. So we are talking about, you know, things uh, like communication media. So the copper wire, for instance, copper wires, cables. Yeah. Then uh, fiber optics, radio. So this is defined in layer one. What is my communication media? Huh? Also with, with physical parameters. Parameters. Okay. This is necessary. Huh? Then the, 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 not talking about just I use this wire, but also I use this voltage level and so on. Yeah? Then of course the information carrier. How to transfer one bit of information? Yeah? So we have uh, voltage levels. What is what is a zero? What is a one? For instance, we have symbols. Yeah? And modulation. If we are using, I don't know, fiber optics or radio, then we have a high frequency carrier wavelength and then we modulate this carrier wavelength somehow and this might be uh, even more. Than two states possible, yeah? that we're not having just 0 and 1, but we're transferring, for instance, four states with different modulations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, yeah? and this is called coding. How is a certain bit of information coded, right? information carrier? This is also needs to be defined in physical layer. Yeah. Typical things, typical things that belong to the to the layer ones. Yeah. Things are cables, some termination resistors. Yeah. Terminal resistors, terminators. I'll be back.
these terminators are there that nothing is coming back. Yeah? That the, the, the information at the end is not reflected, but terminated. Yeah? Will not be back. Yeah? Then connectors. Physical form of connectors. Yeah? How does the plug look? How does, how does it look? Yeah? Antennas, of course. If we are not, if we are not in, in with using cables, but if, if you're using radio, how must the antenna work? Huh? And then there's a thing called repeater. And then there's a thing called hub. What are those things? Huh? Usually, let's think about a wire. Huh? I have a certain length of a wire. And at some point in time, the wire, the, the, the signal on the wire is getting disturbed because this wire is getting too long. So if we have somewhere a wire, long wire, we have a maximum length of a wire because then even, even if I speak here clearly and with all the parameters, the physical layer the, uh, tells me I need to do, yeah, at a certain distance from my starting point, I will not understand anymore. Huh? So, to extend this maximum length of a wire, because, you know, if you're using a cable between Europe and America or whatever, yeah, Africa and South America or Africa and somewhere in India, yeah, then I cannot tell, oh yeah, I only understand every second information. No, 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 no. This must work somehow else. Yeah? Then we having here some sort of repeater. This is this thing here, yeah? which is doing nothing more. Then repeating. Listening here, it's short enough. This wire here is short enough that the repeater still can understand. And telling the same information it just understood, it is repeating on the other end. That's a repeater. A pretty good name for this stuff. Yeah, repeater is just telling one end of the network what it heard on the other end. Yeah? Only repeats the information. This means in my network there is no logical change. Network logic is not changed. From the logic point of view, here, station 1, station 2, this repeater is transparent. I cannot tell if there's a repeater. Yeah? For me, it looks like everything is fine. It's, it's, I don't even know how long the cable is. Huh? However, if here is somewhere a failure, yeah, then at least this part of the network, if there are other stations and so on, this part of the network can function, still function. This part of the network is down yeah, because there's a failure in the network. Yeah. And this part, so the repeater, uh, if there is not, cannot be understood anything from this side, there will not nothing be repeated here. So those stations on this side of the repeater may still talk to each other, and on this side of the repeater, it's nothing. Hmm? So a repeater can, even if the logic is not changed of the network, can enhance uh, the usability, the duration of a, of a, of a network, or the, the, the fail safety of a network, even if it's just repeating. So, for instance, this, those cables I've told you, every some hundred kilometers there, there's a repeater placed inside. Yeah? Every some thousand kilometers, there's every some hundred kilometers, there's an optical, is usually, usually fiber optics, and 
every some hundred kilometers there is a optical amplifier, optical repeater. And then there is even an electrical repeater which is producing a fresh new optical impulse uh, every some thousand kilometers. These repeaters are built in the cables. Uh. There are also repeaters, I don't know, Wi-Fi repeaters, maybe you know. Yeah? Then you can extend the range of your network by placing somewhere. Here is a base station. Here is where you sip in the summertime your cocktail and you want to work here. However, it's too far away from the base station. So you set somewhere in the middle a repeater. This does not need to have a network access or something like this. It just needs to be a power. Yeah? And this is then repeating from, it's bridging somehow, it's repeating. It's repeating what this station tells to here and what this station tells to here. Uh, wireless, Wi-Fi repeater. Also in mobile communication, yeah, there are repeaters which are you know, in the subway or where usually these antennas will not reach. Yeah? Then you put in a repeater and suddenly you have access to network yeah? because it's very much important that you can phone from everywhere on this planet. <laughs> I don't know, yeah? but that's the way things are. Repeater. And if this repeater is not only a single thing, yeah? so if we have here a repeater and there is a station one connected, there's a station two connected and there might be even a station 3 connected, or 4 connected, or whatever. Yeah? Then this is no longer called repeater. This is then called repeating hubs. Or for short hub. Sometimes it's also called switch. However, a switch is something else. I will talk about this, a, a hub purely works on layer one. Yeah? So whatever is listening, whatever is coming from here, it will repeat on all other things. So a hub is not changing the network logic. Not at all. And if I if there's a spare board at the hub, I'll show you a picture how it's looking like. If there's a spare board on a hub and if I plug me in, I can receive all network communication which is communicated here. Yeah? Every port is actually the same. It's just repeated there. Yeah? Repeating hub. That's a hub. Yeah? There are very similar looking things which work on layer 2, 3, 4. We will talk about this. Uh, that's the called also bridge, a bridging hub. But this is a repeating hub or short hub. Yeah? Bridging or switching hub. It's, so that's the physical layer. Point to point connection, everything which is needed to physically connect two things is defined here. And starting with the next layer, layer two, the link layer, we will uh, then bring a little bit more logic. Yeah? So this, this is just the physical things. The logic comes in the next videos. Next video we're talking about layer two. Yeah. Uh, two sub layers, but we will see. We'll see. Next time, ISO OZ reference model layer two. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.